गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन वेलकम टू दी ऑफ्थलमोलॉजी रिकॉल आई होप यू पीपल मस्ट बी रिलेक्सड आफ्टर गिविंग द एग्जामिनेशन एंड यू नो दे कैन बी मिक्स फीलिंग्स आफ्टर द एग्जाम यू पीपल आर कॉन्टिन्यूसली वॉचिंग द रिकॉल्स एंड सम क्वेश्चन आर गुड सम आर मॉडरेट एंड सम यू हैव डन द सिली मिस्टेक सो uh in order to you know remove that dilemma what was the answer what were the options we will be discussing the ophthalmology questions <laughs> yeah i think that bablu became a historic and um, first of all i would like to thank you all of you uh that because of you people i got this most passionate faculty award so it's all because of my students and i dedicate this award to all of you and i'm very very happy that um, bablu came and likewise there are so many questions that came uh, exactly from the notes and uh, most importantly they came from one shot session because the whole idea of the one shot session was to ease out your um preparation phase so that you exactly know what are the most important things that you should look around in the last days of your preparation to make it very very crisp and concise so i am very very happy that you people remembered me even in the examination hall and uh, you were able to do those questions right so before starting the recall again these are the questions and the options that have been obtained from you people from the recall basis and uh, there can be uh, certain differences between the exact options and the language of the question so do help me in that though i have tried to work maximum i have to uh, but still if you feel like that there can be a modification in the language as well as options please do let me know okay so yeah now um, after this we will do the bablu uh, coming to the question number 1 question number 1 may uh, there was no language i think and uh, there was a baby who came with the some growth okay so um, was it a pingicula was it a pterygium a dermoid or a lipodermoid now i think there is no confusion Uh, basically between the pingicula and the pterygium we know what is a pingicula and what is a pterygium pingicula is just a yellowish discoloration and pterygium is made from the word pterygos and pterygos means the wing shaped fold of the conjunctiva which is growing over the cornea so basically this is not um this is not a pingicula and not a pterygium we know this is something uh either it's a dermoid or it's a lipodermoid now uh, most of the students have this confusion whether it's a dermoid or lipodermoid now uh, see we have already discussed this in e gurukul also as a part of the golden heart syndrome as a part of the golden heart syndrome we discussed this that we can have this limbal dermoid and this limbal dermoid image that i have shown you that is also at the limbus so basically uh, whenever i teach you limbus also i tell you this thing that limbus is important because many of the signs are actually seen at the limbus we have uh, got the horner trenta spots herbert follicles herbert pits limbal dermoid then we are also giving the limbal incisions in cases of the cataract surgery okay now in order to um, and the confusion whether it's a dermoid or lipodermoid now this is what i say parson is important and that is why i have given you the parson series see this is a screenshot which is uh, taken from the parsons itself this is from the parsons and um, this is from the 22nd edition that i have taught you in the e gurukul also 22nd edition of the parsons page number 186 which clearly says that actually dermoids are usually uh, you know at right the corner margin most commonly at the outer side okay while if you uh, look at the uh, 
dermolipoma they are present at the outer canthus so if you are sure that this growth was present at the limbus without any doubt it is actually a dermoid it's not a lipodermoid lipodermoids are more commonly found at the outer canthus and um, look at the image also see limbal dermoid image of the parsons okay so this is also given at the limbus itself so this is nothing like that if it is at the limbus then it is a lipodermoid and if it is beyond the limbus then it's a dermoid no lipodermoids are more commonly at the outer canthus straight forward written in the parsons 22nd edition page number 186 you can check yourself i have shown you so without any doubt actually okay and this is what we have discussed in the golden heart syndrome also right so basically this is a dermoid it's not a uh, most probably it's not a lipodermoid it's a dermoid according to the picture that you people have given to me and you stated that it is at the limbus if it is at the outer canthus not a problem then it is a lipodermoid so this is your question number 1 right so i hope this is clear and please keep on messaging about the question 1 2 3 whatever are uh, modifications that we can do 